You ain't even gonna believe it. We got some good Valve news today. We just launched a massive line of limited time holiday merch. So if you're a fan of the channel and you wanna buy something as a gift, check out the link in the description below. Over the last week, we talked about how Valve was not communicating with any of their community creators, any of their modders, and some heavy standout examples, such as the Team Fortress 2 Classic team or the M-Mod team, were not receiving any correspondence from Valve whatsoever. And in fact, the M-Mod team was not even being allowed to be pushed to Steam. This message, got the community talking. A lot of different stories started to be shared about how difficult it's been in the past to communicate directly with Valve about mods, something that Valve was built on the back of, something that Valve up until recently was nothing but. Well, Valve started talking. First and foremost, Gunship Mark II, the creator of M-Mod for Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, received a new person to communicate with that works directly at Valve, not through Steam support. This individual, labeled as a software engineer, is incredibly knowledgeable on how to get stuff directly onto Steam and immediately fixed up every issue. And now M-Mod for Half-Life 1 is going to launch on Steam sometime soon. Not only that, but a few other development teams that are currently under NDA and used to talk to the Valve community management that no longer works at the company have finally been introduced to new liaisons to allow their projects to ship. That doesn't mean the Half-Life modders are in the clear. Specific mods, such as Half-Life Delta, have actually been receiving no correspondence even still. I've talked with Gunship Mark II, and he stated, of course, that M-Mod for Half-Life 2 will also be coming to Steam, and he's also interested in looking into workshop support for M-Mod. However, no promises can be made. The Team Fortress 2 modders that were promised official mod support if they pulled their downloads back in early September have finally made a breakthrough in communication. These community heads are in contact with the correct people, and conversations have started. Not only this, but certain mods have been informed that even if they go down the route of a paid mod, they no longer are responsible for the $50,000 Havoc license fee that every single paid mod up until very recently had to deal with. This Havoc fee apparently has been waived due to a collaboration between both Valve and Microsoft, an incredible agreement. This agreement was actually made sometime in summer of last year, but due to Steamworks and was private. To summarize what I'm trying to say, the Team Fortress 2 modders have finally gotten a response from Valve and the proper communication that is required for official mod support to be pushed to Steam has started. Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 modders have finally gotten a representative inside Valve that is a legitimate high power, high value creating software engineer. And on the day of recording, November 15th, 2021, a small update was pushed to Team Fortress 2 that had, for the very first time, a community request section. It also fixed a major bug with Man vs. Machine community created content. Obviously, this is a victory, but it isn't the end of the entire conflict. However, let's celebrate our victory while we have it. We are getting a lot of community content that is being signed off by Valve pushed out on Steam in both the Half-Life and Team Fortress 2 sectors. I'm so happy that this is finally taking place. This has been a problem for years. And due to the reach that the past few reports has gotten, I've had conversations all over the community and this is a much deeper problem than even I was led on to believe. So there will probably be a few more videos detailing some of the hardships that community creators are facing. And hopefully if we generate enough noise, those problems will be fixed one at a time. However, the Team Fortress mods are likely going to be put on Steam, the Half-Life mods are allowed on Steam, and whomever is in charge of Team Fortress 2 updates has started doing community request features. Check out my Twitter page if you want to keep up with everything that I cover on this channel in real time, or just hang out on the Discord server invite link also down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Tyler McVicker. Thank you very much, Valve. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Adios.